Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Stavo. I upload videos a little bit of everything. DIYs, recipes, desserts, challenges, just about everything. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make this tres leches cake. And if you want to see how I made this, keep on watching and let's get started. Okay, so for this tres leches cake, you guys, I'll be using a, a round cake. Uh, it's about three inches tall. I had already previously cut it into three layers. I'll be using three layers. On this side, we have strawberries. You can either put pineapple, peach, anything you want in the filling of the cake. And we are using whipped cream. This whipped cream, I bought it at Fry's. So for the tres leches, you guys, I'll be using media crema, which is half cream. I will link all the ingredients down below in the description. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that one. Also, I'll be using uh, evaporated milk and also lechera, which is condensed milk or sweetened milk. Okay, so let's get started with the tres leches. Let's remove this from here and I'll start with the tres leches. In a bowl, you're going to mix everything, the tres leches, which is the half cream condensed milk and the evaporated milk. We're just going to pour everything in here and mix it. Let's go ahead and mix the tres leches with the whisk and we're gonna be done. Okay, so I think we have the tres leches ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside here and let's bring the cake over. Okay, so now we're going to pour the milk, the tres leches, onto the first layer of the cake, like so. And also I'm going to add the strawberries on top, just like so until it's fully covered of strawberries. Now that I have that done, now it's time to put the whipped cream on the first layer. Okay, so now that's done, we're going to get the second layer and we are going to do the same thing. We're going to put the tres leches on top. Let's go ahead and add strawberries. Now we're going to add the third layer. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it upside down. Of course, we're going to add the tres leches on top as well. So now with the cake bag, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and start filling the bread of the cake, just like so. Okay, so that's done. Now with the help of my spatula, I'm going to go ahead and smooth the surface out. Or even if I have a cake scraper, which I do, it's here, I'm gonna go ahead and use that as well. So I think I smoothed the side already. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth the top. And if you want to get sharp edges, we're gonna go ahead and use the cake scraper. We're going to use this motion. That way you have your edges really marked. So I melted candy melts and I added a little bit of heavy whipped cream and then I just mixed everything and now it's very smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and drip the cake just like so. I'm going to go ahead and use the spoon just like this. Go to the next one, drip. Go to the next one, drip. It's very easy if you use a spoon just to drip a cake. Okay, so I'm done dripping the cake. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of chocolate and I'm gonna go ahead and add some gold sprinkles. I have these gold ones and I also have these smaller ones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the cake. I'm gonna go ahead and add some bigger ones. And then on the center of the cake, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a strawberry um, cut into pieces. Okay, so this is how I cut my strawberry. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on top, just like this. Wait, I just need to find what side looks better. So I think this is going to be the front, so I'm gonna go ahead and place it like so. Okay, so now we have the strawberry there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cake in the fridge for about three, four hours, and it will taste as bomb as it is. Okay, you guys, so this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, leave it a comment, and don't forget to share with your friends, family, or your neighbors. And if you do this, Kate, don't forget to follow me and send me a picture on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and thank you guys for your support. I will see you guys on my next video. 
Love you guys and you guys take care. Have a good day. Bye.